Gun fam, what's up? It's the Gun Brother. Thank you for tuning in. And today I want to get into this SCOTUS ruling up in New York about the whole concealed carry thing, explain some things, and hopefully clear some stuff up in some, some basic language that everybody can understand. So let's get into it. All right, so if you are or aren't a gun enthusiast, I'm sure that you've heard about the Supreme Court ruling up in New York from last week. Um, but I'm still fielding a lot of questions and hearing a lot of conversations that have inaccurate information in them. So just want to clear a couple of those things up. But first off, let's just start with what the ruling changed. All the ruling changed is you no longer have to show good cause to obtain your concealed carry permit in New York. That's it. OK, what the ruling did not do, it did not change any purchasing processes that you may have in your state or jurisdiction. If that's all still the same. However, whatever applications you have to fill out, classes you have to take, whatever is mandated to uh, purchase your gun, that is still in place. It, it doesn't remove all the other stipulations that are in place to get your concealed carry. No, people are not going to just walk in and get their concealed carry again with without, without whatever process is already in place. There is a process to obtain your concealed carry. Every jurisdiction has it. They're all still in place. It just says, I don't have to give you a reason for it. That's all that's changed. The, thing, the other thing about it, all kinds of people are going all crazy. Oh, again, going to flood the streets with guns and everything's going to go bad and blah, blah, blah. Look, outside of New York, there's only eight other states that have shall issue. This is only going to affect law abiding citizens because the people that aren't abiding by the law are carrying concealed already because they don't care. This doesn't have anything to do with real gun violence in New York or anywhere else. The other alarm that I keep hearing being raised is, oh, we're going to plunge the whole country into chaos now every place is going to be flooded with guns and blah 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 look <laughs> there's only a handful of states that still were may issue okay check out the map and you'll see california and then this little cluster of states over here i think it's nine in total uh and this map is from the uscca united states concealed carry association look the rest of the country was already shall issue so this ruling does not really change a whole lot. It's only a handful of states. So all the, oh God, we're going, to, we're going to hell. I mean, that may or may not be true, but it doesn't have anything to do with this ruling from, the, from in New York. So for those that may not know, DC, Maryland, Virginia, we're all together just like this. And people go in and out of each jurisdiction or state or city regularly every day. D.C. and Virginia are shall issue jurisdictions already. Maryland is still may issue. So it does affect us. Um, it hasn't been changed yet. So, no, you can't just go out and, and apply for your concealed carry. Now, again, doesn't change your purchase process. Doesn't change the concealed carry process. It also doesn't change the laws that are in place in each jurisdiction for carrying. So in other words, people are like, oh, this is New York is so dense and we can't you can't you people are going to be carrying in the subways and carrying here and carrying there. Look, every state has its restrictions on where you can carry. For instance, D.C. is a shall issue jurisdiction, but you can't carry on public transportation. That's already in place. That hasn't changed. The ruling did not strike that down. OK, whatever laws are in place, they're all still in place except for the good reason. OK. They had a list of reasons, have a top secret clearance, own a business, a uh, credible threat to your life, former law enforcement and, and uh, or security or or practicing security currently. So those are the only reasons you could you had to have one of those reasons and they have a list. You can't even finish the application without checking one of the boxes. So um, that's what was in place in Maryland. So for or it still is right now. So for all my Marylanders, um, we should have some information coming out very soon. Uh, as soon as that comes out, I'll definitely update you on that and whatever the process is going to be uh, to obtain it. And so people can get going on that. But people, it, it really only affected a handful of states that were still may issue everything, all the other stop gaps and things that, that some people still complain about. But and some people think we need them. But all of those other laws and things like that, those are all still in place. So there hasn't been there's not this big mass 
go get your gun and you can carry tomorrow type of thing that's been put in place. It's just saying, look, if somebody wants to apply for their concealed carry, I don't have to tell you why I want it. I don't have to have a reason for it. I don't have to be a certain caliber, a certain uh, tax bracket or anything like that. If I want my concealed carry, you need to give it to me if I apply for it and I meet the rest of the criteria. So um, with that being said, it, uh, exercise that right and you don't exercise it, you know, things get taken away from you. So if you want your concealed carry wherever you are, um, go ahead and get it. People that don't, if you don't want it, you don't want it. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? I can still carry every day. I'm not out here shooting people. I haven't had to shoot anybody at all because I haven't had to defend myself with deadly force. That's how it works. It's not, oh, we're all going to go out and just start shooting people, shooting each other over road rage. That shouldn't happen. Those are people that are willing to break the law. With that being said, thanks for tuning in, Gun Fam. Gun Brother is out.